Have you ever wondered how Rice Krispies and calculus are related? Probably not, but there's a really interesting and somewhat amusing connection between the two. To start off, we have to review simple derivatives and their relationship to physics. If we have an object, say a singular Rice Krispie, we can call its position in space x, assuming it's only moving in one spatial direction for simplicity. The first derivative is the velocity, the second derivative is the acceleration, and sometimes we have to take the third derivative and we call this j, or the jerk. This isn't used all that commonly, but it is applicable in some situations. Now what if we kept taking the derivative? What, what would happen? Well, we can do that. We can just say that the fourth derivative of the position is the derivative of the jerk, which is something called s. We can take the fifth derivative of position, which is the derivative of s, and that is c. And we take the sixth derivative of x, which is the derivative of c, which is p. And scp stands for snap, crackle, and pop. These are the unofficial terms for these three derivatives. Now, let's use this in a real-world example. Say I had a bowl of Rice Krispies and I accidentally dropped it on the ground. Would this bowl of Rice Krispies experience any snap, crackle, or pop? Well, we know that the acceleration due to Earth's gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. If we take its derivative, which is the derivative of a constant, we find that the jerk is equal to zero. Now, since the jerk is the third derivative, we know that any derivatives after it will also be zero. Therefore, the snap, crackle, and pop of this bowl of Rice Krispies will also be zero. So sadly, this bowl of Rice Krispies will never be able to experience snap, crackle, or pop.